Through your passes, we gather to commemorate another young sector. We would like to take a step back and look at a more holistic picture of our history. We are here today to honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for the preservation of our culture and the advancement of our people. Countless times, outsiders have invaded our lands, stolen our homes, as well as killed, maimed, raped, kidnapped, and committed every other type of injustice against us. But we are still here. Ever since our ancestors converted to Christianity in the first century, we have been a target. But be it the Mongol conquest, the Ottoman rule, the Persian rule, we are still here. Be it the massacres of Adar Khan, we are still here. Be it Seifu or Sumele, we are still here. Be it Al-Qaeda or ISIS, we are still here. While our ancestors were being cut down, they reached out to a brighter future. We are the future they were grasping for. Through remembering their suffering, we make them live on forever. One life taken away, many more carry on in memory. In that act, we multiply. Throughout the millennia of persecution and attempted extermination, a flicker remains. They attempted to put out that fire, but they have failed. When we gather, when we exchange ideas, when we speak our language, when we celebrate mass, when we teach our children, when we support each other, we feed that flame. This day represents the acknowledgement of those whose lives were taken because of their ethnicity and how we have a responsibility to honor their sacrifice. We as Shlam are playing a role in honoring our martyrs by ensuring that our people have a future in our ancestral homeland. The Shlam Foundation was founded after ISIS invaded the Nineveh Plains in 2014. In the past five years, we have implemented over 170 projects across northern Iraq. <coughs> to help the Assyrian Chaldean and Syriac people prosper in their homeland. Through the act of giving, we help preserve our existence. With every project, we defy those who, see it, who want to see us disappear. With every dollar, we say to the world, 7,000 years of history does not end on our watch. We persevere and preserve what has been handed down to us. We nurture for the benefit of future generations. We strive every day to give hope to those who have lost all. We extend a hand to our brothers and sisters in the homeland to tell them with certainty that we have not forgotten about them. We honor the fallen by using our privilege that we enjoy in the West to improve the lives of those back home. We do what we do without prejudice or favor. We help our brethren whether they identify as a Syrian, Chaldean, Syriac, or any other name. Through our humanitarian mission, we try to set an example for everybody around the world that our enemies persecute us without discrimination, without uh, deciphering what church we go to or what political party we support. They hate us because of our indigenous ties to our native land. They hate us because of who we descend from. In that persecution, we must realize that our similarities far outweigh our differences. The only way we can succeed in the future is to stand alongside each other. This principle guides Shlam's work. As another young man said in the past, we pledge to continue the work that Shlam has been doing over the past five years. We also pledge to continue our work to unite our brothers and sisters in diaspora to work together for the greater good. Much has been lost, but our unity will take us to new heights. And that is how we must honor our martyrs.